Hello, my name is Autumn Neary, and I'm an associate curator here at the Peterson Automotive Museum. Today, we're gonna to take a look at some highlights from our latest exhibition, Inside Tesla, Supercharging the Electric Revolution. Today, no company is more closely identified with the electric vehicle than Tesla. The company's introduction of reliable, attractive, and technologically advanced EVs, along with the necessary infrastructure for powering them, has prompted both the general public and industry professionals to reconsider the long-dismissed promise of alternative power. In less than two decades, Tesla has succeeded in disrupting a global industry more than 130 years old. Inside Tesla, traces the company's story from fledgling startup to EV juggernaut, exploring the range of its products, the breadth of its manufacturing capabilities, and its irrefutable impact on the modern transportation landscape. One of the premises of the exhibition is that Tesla's Model S introduced in 2009 with this prototype, is one of the most influential vehicles since the Ford Model T, in that it was pivotal in bringing all electric power to a broader automotive market. The sedan quickly gained recognition as being both cutting edge and practical for everyday use. Its unique design helped Tesla establish a recognizable brand image and cement the firm's place in popular culture. The Model S revolutionized EVs making them not only a viable alternative to petroleum-fueled cars, but also highly desirable. This section of the exhibition looks at the origins of Tesla, which was incorporated in July of 2003 in San Carlos, California. This sporty little vehicle is the 1996 AC Propulsion T0. Three of these hand-built electric sports cars were created by Southern California-based AC Propulsion between 1994 and 98, using technology the company was already supplying to car makers such as BMW and Toyota. The T0 was initially powered by lead acid batteries, but was retrofitted with lithium ion batteries in 2003. Its stunning performance convinced a group of Silicon Valley entrepreneurs that a sporty EV could rival its gasoline powered counterparts. The group founded Tesla for the initial purpose of building a comparable vehicle in larger numbers. section of the exhibition looks at the development of Tesla's first product, the Roadster. This heavily modified 2002 Lotus Elise is known as Mule One, and it is the first functional prototype created by Tesla. It features an AC propulsion drive system and other experimental components. For the production Roadster, Tesla ultimately utilized its own motor, drive system, and charging system. This Roadster is the first production vehicle and it was delivered to Elon Musk in February of 2008. Roadster was the first highway legal all electric production vehicle to use lithium ion battery cells, and it established Tesla in the automotive world. Between 2008 and 2012, four versions of Roadster would be built. Next, we focus on Model S, 
Tesla's second vehicle and the first to be designed and built from the ground up. Although many automakers had attempted to reignite interest in EVs since they fell out of favor in the early 20th century, it was not until the Model S that consumers once again recognized the promise of cars powered purely by electricity. Tesla's success with the Roadster had proved there was an appetite for EVs, but with the Model S, Tesla set out to prove that electric vehicles could deliver an unparalleled experience. Model S was announced in June of 2008 with a prototype revealed in March 2009. The car was the first successful mainstream market EV to be designed and engineered by an American company since the 1930s. In 2013, Motor Trend named the Model S as its car of the year, the first vehicle without an internal combustion engine to earn that distinction. This Model S P85 was flown to New York City where Elon Musk and lead designer Franz von Holzhausen accepted the award. This aerodynamic display features a 2022 Model S Plaid. Aerodynamic optimization is a major contributor to the overall efficiency of an electric vehicle and a key factor in extending an EV's range. From its inception, the Model S was developed with a focus on minimizing aerodynamic drag. In fact, the 2022 Model S has a drag coefficient of 0 0.208, one of the world's lowest for a production car. The lines and colors on this display depict airflow streamlines. Here we look at Tesla's charging and energy innovations. As with all battery-powered EVs, a Tesla's battery is recharged by plugging into a charge point and taking electricity from the power grid. In addition to the home wall connector and a portable connector, Tesla also has a network of more than 36,000 superchargers in nearly 4,000 locations worldwide. This strategy is unlike that of other automakers, which have focused more on building EVs than on establishing a network to support them. Tesla has also applied its EV battery technology to battery energy storage products, and they have expanded into solar energy generation. Here we have some of Tesla's charging and energy storage products, including a supercharger and a power wall, which is a rechargeable lithium ion battery for the home that can store solar generated electricity for later consumption. This mega pack is a massive lithium ion battery that provides energy storage for power stations, utility companies, and commercial projects. In 2006, Elon Musk unveiled his master plan for Tesla, which he believes will help accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. The first step was to develop a premium low volume vehicle, the profits from which would fund the development of a lower price medium volume vehicle. These profits would then be used to develop a more affordable high volume vehicle. Following this strategy, the Tesla Roadster led to the Model S and eventually to Model 3. Tesla's current lineup of vehicles includes the models S, 3, X, and Y, a play on the word sexy. This is a 2021 Model S Plaid. It features Tesla's Plaid powertrain, which is the highest performance powertrain available for Tesla vehicles. Its design incorporated the first carbon sleeved rotors used in a series production EV, which helped the motors produce peak power all the way to the vehicle's top speed of 200 miles per hour. This car completed a test lap on Germany's famed Nürburgring North Loop with a time of less than seven minutes and 36 seconds and an average speed of 103 miles per hour, setting a world record for fastest production EV lap. This is a 2016 prototype of the Model 3, a four-door fastback sedan. Model 3 was the first Tesla intended for high volume production at a mid-range price point. It entered production in 2017 and is Tesla's most affordable model. The design of Model 3 reinterpreted the aerodynamic silhouette of the Model S on a shorter wheelbase, helping to create a sleek appearance, minimize air resistance, and improve vehicle aerodynamics. It features a new grillless design for its front nose. Astoundingly, the car received 135,000 reservations on the first day. And in June of 2021, 
Model 3 became the best-selling EV of all time, with global sales passing 1 million units. Here we have a prototype of the Model X. Model X is Tesla's third production vehicle, following the Roadster and the Model S. It is widely regarded as the world's first modern production all-electric SUV. The Model X shared about 40% of its platform with the earlier Model S, but offers increased storage space and added towing capacity. The design of Model X introduced never before seen features like Falcon wing doors and the world's largest panoramic windshield. Model Y, Tesla's midsize SUV, entered production in 2020. The design borrowed substantially from Model 3, but features a roomier interior and added versatility and continues the subtle evolution of Tesla's signature styling with no front grille, flush door handles, and a center touchscreen. Today, Model Y is among the world's best-selling cars by revenue. This Model Y performance is actually the one millionth car built by Tesla. It was constructed at Tesla's Fremont factory in March of 2020. In 2016, Elon Musk said that the competitive strength of Tesla long-term will not be the car, but rather the factory. This remark highlights Tesla's holistic approach to product design and manufacturing, which involves not only the vehicles, but also full optimization of the machines that build them. Initially, Musk's vision was for a fully automated factory, in which the only role of humans would be to build and maintain the machines that are responsible for production. Today, however, Tesla utilizes a collaborative intelligence approach, which merges the skills of both humans and machines. To supplement the original Fremont factory in California, Tesla has constructed five massive gigafactories in Nevada, New York, Texas, China, and Germany. This installation shows a cross section of Tesla's 4680 structural battery pack. First revealed at Tesla's 2020 Battery Day event, this new architecture for its 4680 battery cells was first used in Model Y vehicles in 2022. The structural battery pack acts as an integral part of the car's structure, linking the front and rear underbody segments, increasing overall vehicle stiffness and strength. The next section of the exhibition looks at some of Tesla's future projects, some of which were outlined in Elon Musk's 2016 Master Plan Part Due. This is a 2017 deck model of the Roadster 2.0. Designed for ultra high performance and potentially capable of more than 250 miles per hour, the prototype Roadster 2.0 was the first Tesla to utilize the company's tri-motor plaid powertrain, where one motor drives the front axle and two drive the rear, offering all-wheel drive and torque vectoring capability. Here we have a 40% scale model of the Tesla Semi, as well as smaller models showing design iterations of Semi. The vehicle is equipped with three independent electric motors on the rear axles and can accelerate from zero to 60 in 20 seconds, fully loaded with a gross combined weight of 80,000 pounds. The Tesla Semi debuted in November 2017 and first deliveries of the production Semi began in December 2022. Tesla Semi has a drag coefficient of 0.36, far less than a traditional semi truck. Here we have one of the most popular vehicles in the exhibition, the 2019 Cybertruck prototype, along with a prototype of the Cyber Quad. This example was the first Cybertruck revealed to the public. Cybertruck aims to bring electric power to a utilitarian platform historically dominated by gas-powered vehicles. Its distinctive stainless steel unibody, referred to as an exoskeleton, 
makes it stronger than conventional body-on-frame designs. By utilizing the Cybertruck's tailgate and self-leveling suspension, the Cyberquad can be driven directly onto the truck bed and charged via the truck's power systems. The exhibition also features the steel ball that infamously cracked Cybertruck's window on stage at its unveiling. Autonomy is a major element of Elon Musk's master plan part due. His goal is to develop a self-driving capability that is many times safer than the average human driver. While today's autopilot requires active driver supervision, in the future, Tesla's ultimate objective is to achieve hands-off, fully autonomous driving. As of October 2022, Tesla has more than 160,000 people in its full self-driving beta program in the US and Canada. The program allows drivers to use beta-level software that enables their vehicle to navigate roads and respond to obstacles. Tesla relies on camera vision and neural net processing for its autopilot and full self-driving features. This tile is part of the Dojo supercomputer that Tesla announced in its AI day in 2021. Dojo trains neural networks using video data gathered from Tesla vehicles to learn how to perform the actions required for full self-driving. The last section of the exhibition looks at collaborations between Tesla and some of Elon Musk's other companies, specifically SpaceX and The Boring Company. This Model X carried astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken to the launch pad when SpaceX became the first private company to launch NASA astronauts into orbit. In February of 2018, Elon Musk's personal Midnight Cherry 2010 Tesla Roadster became the payload for the test flight of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket. A mannequin named Starman, wearing a SpaceX spacesuit, was positioned in the driver's seat, and the Roadster was filled with items that speak to Musk's enthusiasm for space and science fiction, including a copy of the novel Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The car was launched into space and entered an elliptical orbit around the sun, where it remains to this day. Here we've created the Roadster payload, complete with Starman. Lastly, we have a massive section of tunnel from the Boring Company's Las Vegas Tunnel Program. The Las Vegas Convention Center Loop is a four station transportation system consisting of 1.7 miles of underground tunnel with a fleet of human controlled Teslas that transport passengers to stops around the convention center. The project broke ground in 2019 and opened in 2021 and has been described as Teslas in tunnels. The tunnel's walls are made up of multiple concrete segments that form rings that are then linked together. This tunnel section weighs about 24,000 pounds and getting it into the gallery was quite an ordeal. Have it, a look at some of the highlights from the Inside Tesla exhibition. There's plenty more to see in the exhibit, so if you can, I highly suggest you come pay us a visit. Thank you.